Sally here and I am going to be working on my September prompt for One Little Word and for this month she, Allie Edwards, did a spinner and um, <clears throat> so she just put words inside each section and had a little spinner and then if she was feeling um, like she needed something to help her boost her, she would just spin it and do whatever it said on that section. So kind of like a game kind of thing. Um, so I created this kind of pie chart thing and then cut on my Cricut cut out um, six sections. And then I designed, I don't know if you can see it, but I designed some words and then made them stretch to fit the shape. Um, and so I'm trying to decide if it would be easier to glue these on and then put the whole thing down, but I think it will be easier to do the word in each individual piece. So I'm gonna cut these apart and weed them and then I'll be right back. All right, they are all weeded. And so I decided instead of transfer tape, I was afraid it might um, tear my paper. I am going to use Press and Seal, which is such a great idea. I'm so glad I came across it. And, well, I am just going to trying to keep them organized here. I'm just going to put a piece on and then cut around it. I definitely don't need this much and I think it will just get in the way and make it harder to do. Okay. Just set that aside. Now I'll just burnish this down here. remove the backing. Oh, and that's sticking pretty good. You kind of remove it more at an angle. It comes off a little bit better. Okay, now this one is going to go on this pie piece here. So maybe I kind of want to make sure that I get it. Well, I guess I can only put it in there one way. So I'll just kind of eyeball this and stick that down. Oh good, you can read it. That's what I was worried about when I was choosing what vinyl to use, was if it would be legible. So there we go. So I'll just repeat that process with all of these. Okay, time to glue it on. So I'm trying to figure out how to keep them in the right place. I think I designed it so that it would have a wee bit of a border showing, but I don't know if that's how it turned out or not. Maybe if I align these outside edges, it will work better. Yeah, they're pretty much just right by each other, but that's okay. I don't need a border. All right. So maybe if I just glue one down and then line them all up one at a time. I'm not too worried about the perfection of it all. So I'm just gonna put that right there.
Alright, cute. Alright, now I have this two piece spinner arrow, although I don't know how I am going to attach it because it is super skinny. So I might just not have it spin because the idea for the prompt was to do it at the beginning of the month and then you just decide what thing you're going to do that day by spinning the arrow and seeing where it lands, which it doesn't spin very good anyway. And the other problem I have is how to attach it into my, my album. So I was thinking maybe I would laminate it, maybe? Um, or put it on like a short piece of plastic or something to punch the holes. I have not decided. So I cut this circle and unfortunately I thought this was six inches across, but my Cricut cut it off. So I thought I could just, uh, I don't know, put a die cut there or something anyway to cover that up. So this will be for the back, and so I could sandwich like a heavy piece of acetate in between, or like a, you know, some laminated paper or something. Change of plans. I just, I found this piece of plastic that I have that is just about exactly the right size. So um, I think it looks, I like it better with that. So I'm just gonna glue it onto this and then um, punch my holes. And then I think I'll, I'll just glue this on so you get the idea of a spinner. New plan, I decided to redesign my arrow and just put a circle in the middle of it so that I could just stick a brad in there and that will make it be a spinner. So I'm just gonna glue these together. This is just an arrow that I found in Cricut Design Space if anybody is wondering. And then I just, I just made a circle and put a smaller circle inside and then sliced them all out. Oh. Um, let's see. Ooh, that is really dirty. Maybe I should wash this off. Um, maybe I should glue that on before I poke my hole so that I know that the hole will go in the right place on the plastic. But I think I'm gonna try to wash this and get it less staticky, and I'll be right back. All right, much cleaner. And I have an old used dryer sheet that hopefully will keep it from being so staticky. Okay, so I want this on here closer to the right edge than the left, so there's room for the holes. So, hmm, I guess we'll see if this glue will stick to plastic. I think it will. We'll give it a shot. my pokey tool to poke a hole right in the middle here. 
Yeah, it went through pretty good. And then this is just a regular office type brad here. Because I don't want to go digging trying to find a cute one. Maybe that hole needs to be a little bit bigger. We'll pull it all the way out and see if we can make that hole bigger. Let's see if that's going to fit. Ooh. Bending my brat. I know. I will use my pop a dial big bite. And just poke a little hole. Okay. That should work. Make sure it's centered here. we go. Now let's see if that brad will fit in there. Yep. Fits in there pretty nicely. Okay. There we go. Now just fold this back and voila. Maybe not fold it back quite that much. Maybe kind of not so tightly down. There we go. Sort of spins. You get the idea though. Awesome. And so now, I think I'll punch the holes. So this is a little bit longer than this page protector, uh, page divider. So I'll just mark where those holes need to go. not worry about the paper. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty much the same size. Cool rama. All right. I will do this this way. Oh yeah. I think that was going to fit. How did I have this? That works just like that. Oops. Alright, we're gluing this to the... Oh, it is glued to the paper. We are going to glue this little bit to the paper. that noticeable that the pattern is different. Alrighty. There's that. There we go. That looks okay. Alright. So now I can glue this down. Can put a journaling card on here to say talk about why I chose those words. Okay, so maybe actually I can just use this.
put a um, one of these stickers. Now that I've got my journaling done, I am just going to distress the edges of this paper with some warm lips worn lipstick. Just to kind of give it a little more definition against this background. And then I'll just add a few cute stickers and this one is done. I'll just need to decorate the divider. So maybe I will do that off camera and then show you how it turned out in the end. So So I could do this on a journey. And some of these cute flowers. And I like this banner. Let's see if it will fit. Could go like that. But then I'll have to move these up to flies. Maybe I can put this one. I don't want to hang it over because I I don't want it to see on the other side. So I'll put that one right there and then maybe just these little little flowers right here underneath the bit. There we go, and then maybe one more little something something right there. That one's kind of big. How about the, oh, that heart might not show. I actually thought about punching a heart out of this. Let me see how big my little, let's see if I can, oh, that's a star. I had a little heart punch. I'll have to find it, but. We won't worry about it. Oh, here's a pink. Well, this dark pink. That would work. Maybe these little yellow flowers, too. There we go. There, that looks cute. This will go right here in my book. Oh, that looks so cute. I'm not sure how well this glue is going to hold up. I may need to get some, uh, oh yeah, that's not really sticking at all. Sticking on the other side, but not this one. Oh, that's actually, well, I will fix that. But there is my layout for September. So I'll decorate this and be back. I got the divider done, so I've used this um, wood piece that I got from Michael's, I think. And then I just um, inked it with some of the Warm Lipstick Distress Oxide. And this is just one of those sheets in my 6x8 pad. And then I just did this on the other side and put a little sticker. And then here's my little spinner. And then on the other side, I just did a little bit of journaling. And so that does it for September. So thank you for joining me. And we will see you next time.